Installing Kohler Reckon Garbage Disposers This video demonstrates the installation of three quarter horsepower disposers. A video demonstrating the installation of one horsepower disposers is also available. For this installation, you will need the following tools and materials. Assorted screwdrivers, rags, wire strippers, adjustable wrench, pliers, handsaw, and plumber's putty. You may also need a hammer and needle nose pliers. This animation is intended as a supplement. Refer to the installation instructions included with your product for important safety information, required tools, and detailed installation instructions. Follow all local plumbing and building codes. Warning! Risk of electrical shock. The garbage disposer must be grounded. Turn off power at either the circuit breaker or fuse box before beginning the installation. This disposer requires a switch with a marked off position within sight of the sink. This product requires either a switched electrical outlet near where the disposer will be installed or a hardwired connection to the circuit breaker or fuse box. This video features the installation method using a switched electrical outlet. Turn off the electrical power at the circuit breaker or fuse box. Remove the existing sink flange and remove any residual plumber's putty from the sink. Disassemble the sink flange from the disposer. Apply a one half inch bead of plumber's putty to the underside of the sink flange. Align the Kohler logo so it faces the front of the sink. Then firmly press the flange into the sink opening. Remove any excess putty. Install the fiber gasket, flange, and mounting ring to the underside of the sink flange. Pull the snap ring over the bottom of the sink flange. Evenly tighten the screws to secure the sink flange. If the dishwasher drain hose will be connected to the disposer, knock out the drain plug with a screwdriver and remove with pliers. Do not remove the drain plug if a drain hose will not be connected to the disposer. Remove the cover plate from the bottom of the disposer and pull out the wires. Install the provided cable connector and route the electrical cable through the access hole. Tighten the cable connector. Using wire nuts, connect the white ribbed wires together. Connect the black smooth wires together. Connect the green ground wire to the green screw. Fit the wires into the disposer and reinstall the cover plate. The drain line must be lower than the disposer and must be pitched away from the disposer by at least a quarter inch per foot. Align the three tabs with the ramps on the mounting ring. Turn the mounting ring using the provided hex wrench until all three tabs lock over the ridges on the ramps. Dry fit and mark the provided tube to trim for proper fit. Slide the flange over the tube. Insert the gasket into the outlet. 
and secure the flange with the provided screws. If the drain plug was removed, connect the dishwasher drain hose to the disposer and secure with a hose clamp. To avoid leaks, make sure that the tube connection is not flexed. Turn on the water and check for leaks. Turn on the electrical power, plug in the power cord, and test the disposer.